Hi, welcome to Ride. My name is John. Uh, you join us here again for our next maintenance edit for roadcyclinguk.com. Uh, today we're going to look at brake pad replacement. A dead simple job, everyone should be able to do this at home. Uh, the front and rear is almost exactly the same. Most of the nice brakes now use a cartridge style pad system, so the pad is encased or held captive by a, a shoe that is already bolted into place. Um, there's a small grub screw that holds the pad in situation, stops it sliding out. Orientation of the shoe is critical, so you, you have the, uh, the entry for the pad at the rear. Obviously the wheel is rotating in this direction. When you pull the brake lever on, it's pulling the brake shoe forward. Uh, if you had the brake pad the wrong way around, the opening would be at the front. That would be bad. It's obviously going to pull the brake pad towards the, the gap, so worth checking. We do see that in the workshop, have brakes in with them the wrong way around. But let's get on with it. First thing you're going to need to do, we're going to work on the front brake. Bizarrely, for a bicycle, the front one of these is actually slightly more involved than the rear. The rear you can do with the wheel in situ, the front you're going to need to remove it. The pads are accessed through the fork, There's not enough room here with the wheel in place. So, quick release lever, open that, take the wheel out, set that to one side. Small 2mm Allen key. A little grub screw at the back here. Just remove that. Try not to drop it. Same thing on the other side, and the brake pad will just slide out. Like so. Same thing on the other side. Grub screw out. A lot of the original equipment pads will come with new grub screws, so don't worry too much if you do drop one. Some of the cheaper alternatives, uh, one of the reasons they're cheaper is they don't come with all the bits you need. So get rid of that one. And then we're going to go in with the replacements. New pads are ready to go in. They are left and right specific. They have a slight curve on them, follows the curve of the wheel. They'll be marked on the back with an L and an R. Makes it pretty simple. Again, just pinch the brake together slightly. Right hand brake pad in. Pinch it together. Left hand brake pad goes in. There we go. Grub screws back in, obviously. Critical for safety. We don't want the brake pads coming out at any point. Make sure you do refit these. There's only a tiny little Allen key, so do be careful with these because it's easy to round them out if you're a little bit heavy handed. Same again on the other side. And that's essentially it. That's the brake pads replaced. Now, a couple of things are going to happen there. Because the brake pad now has more material on it, they're closer together. So you might find when you reintroduce the wheel that you don't have a lot of lever feel. Well, the brake pads are too close to the rim because there's more material there. So once you've got the wheel back in, in place, if we do the quick release and just check the lever feel. You'll feel that the lever doesn't actually travel as much as it did before you change the pads over. You can adjust your bow and adjust the cable tension here just to allow yourself a little bit more lever feel. It's personal preference lever feel where you have it. So you can reset it to how you like it. The other thing to check once you've set the pads in place is just pull the brake on and have a look at it. Have a look at how the brake pads line up with the rim. Are they in the right place? Just below the top edge of the rim but not so far down that they're starting to intrude onto the graphic or the rim surface itself. Most of the nice rims will have a machine braking surface. Obviously if your pads are misaligned, if they're towed too far in, too far out, you're not getting full contact with the pad on the brake uh, track of the wheel. And that's obviously going to mean you're not getting full braking power. So have a little visual check. If the brake pads line up fine, great, that's it. End of the job, you're good to go. If they don't line up, you're going to need to make small adjustments with those. Uh, again, this system, formal Allen key, literally just undo it. Help sometimes just pull the brake lever on, it'll hold the pad in place for you. Move the pad to wherever you need it to be. These are actually pretty good. 
keep the brake lever pulled on. Snug it up, once you've got it just snug, let go, hold the pad manually, make sure it's good and tight, and that's it, everything's aligned. The full contact of the brake pad on the rim, new pads, plenty of braking power, job done.